Using surround sound in Cubase is effortless. Surround becomes an extension of what we've already learned, just with a few more channels added. Let's set up our inputs and outputs so that we are surround ready. Let's set up our surround outputs. Go to the Devices menu and choose VST Connections. You can also use the key command F4. Let's choose the Output tab first. We want to start from scratch and remove anything that is currently there, just in case it's set up incorrectly. If you see anything below the bus name, right-click with the mouse and choose Remove Bus. Now press the Add Bus button and choose 5.1 for Configuration and 1 for Count. Select the outputs from the device port pull-down menu that correspond to the speakers that are hooked up to your audio card. Since 5.1 surround requires six speakers or six individual outputs, make sure you select six separate outputs on your device port. Now let's press the input tab and set up the inputs we are going to use for recording surround sound into Cubase. Do the same to the inputs as we did before with the outputs. Right click and select remove bus. Now press the add bus button and choose 5.1 for configuration and 1 for count. Select the inputs from the device port pull-down menu that correspond to the inputs that are hooked up to your audio card. Having a 5.1 bus allows you to record surround as one multi-channel audio file on an audio track. Recording with a 5.1 channel keeps your audio files aligned and gives you some incredible advantages when mixing. You can use VST3 plugins in Cubase on a 5.1 channel configuration, or for that matter, any channel configuration and the plugin will automatically adjust the number of channels. So a limiter becomes a surround limiter, a studio chorus becomes a surround studio chorus, and so on. You could, however, create separate mono buses for your 5.1 inputs. Let's show you how to record in surround using separate mono buses. Right click on our 5.1 in bus and select Remove Bus. Now press the Add Bus button and choose Mono for configuration and six for count. This will add six separate mono buses that we will configure as a surround input setup. Select the inputs from the device port pull-down menu that correspond to the inputs that are hooked up to your audio card. Rename the inputs left, right, center, LFE, left surround, and right surround. That's it for the VST connections window. You are now ready to set up your tracks. Now we need to set up the tracks in Cubase so that they'll be properly named have the right inputs, and will output the audio correctly to our audio card. Create six mono audio tracks. Rename the tracks left, right, center, LFE, left surround, and right surround. Remember that naming your tracks before you record is the recommended way of recording. This allows your audio files to have proper names. We now need to give each track its proper input. Set the track name left to the left input by clicking on the input routing pull-down menu. Set the track right to the right input, and so on. Click on the output routing for each of the tracks and assign them to their corresponding outputs. Left to the left output, right to the right output, and so on. Alternatively, you could have selected the 5.1 output for each of the tracks. In this case, you could have a surround panner for each track. Make sure you look up surround sound in the operation manual for more detailed information on the surround panner. We now have all the tracks inputs and outputs set up. We are now ready to record in surround sound. This means we are going to record six channels at a time. These channels are routed to the 5.1 output we've set up in the VST connections. We have six mono inputs as our inputs. Behind the scenes, we have six channels of audio, a surround sound mix, coming into our six mono inputs. Set each of the tracks record enable and monitor buttons so that they are highlighted or turned on. Make sure cycle is turned off and not highlighted and that you are starting recording at bar one. Press the record button.
press the stop button when you are finished recording. Turn off the record enable and monitor buttons on all the tracks so that we don't hear the inputs or record on the tracks anymore. Congratulations, you have just recorded a 5.1 mix in Cubase. Now let's learn how to export our surround file. Now that we have a surround mix recorded, we will want to export it so that we can import it into another program, such as a DVD authoring application. Before we can export the surround mix to another program, we need to tell Cubase how many bars to export. We can accomplish this by setting the locators. Set the left locator to bar 1 and the right locator to bar 26 on the transport panel. This will make sure we have all the music for export. Next, select Audio Mixdown from the Export submenu on the File menu. The Export Mixdown window opens. There are many features in this window that are covered in the Export Audio Mixdown chapter of the Operation Manual. Please refer to this for more complete information. File name is for naming the file for export. Let's name ours Surround Tutorial Export. The path is where you wish to save the exported file on your computer. Use the Choose button to navigate to the folder you wish to save to. For convenience, there is the option to choose Use Project Audio Folder so that the exported file will end up in your project's audio folder. This is one of the best places to keep it so it won't accidentally become erased or lost. Normally, you want to save your exported file as a WAV file under File Format. This, of course, depends on what file format the other application, such as a DVD authoring program, requires. You can choose whether you want a complete 5.1 exported mix by selecting 5.1 out, 5.1. This means the exported file will be generated through the main 5.1 outputs that we see in the mixer. You can also choose the individual outs of the audio channel for flexibility in your export. Choose the sample rate and bit depth that will be required for your export. Select the bottom three left options, as these will import the audio back into Cubase after you export it and automatically create an audio track. The Export Audio Mixdown window will also close. When you are done selecting all your settings, choose Export at the bottom right. You will now see your newly exported surround mix on one audio track as a 5.1 multiple channel audio file.